good as we can. Is it correct that we are entering uncharted territory for, uh, for particle physics, Yasmin? Yes, absolutely. Our detector is almost entirely changed. The, the tracking, the, uh, the, the, the PID, there are so many things. The way we process the data is entirely different. So for us, it's really a grand new start. Thank you, Yasmin, and stay with us tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central European Summertime, we will start a live commenting through all the stages that it takes from uh, injecting the first beams into the LHC up to collisions at high energy at the four experiments. And we will talk to the experiments and we will broadcast this live on CERN social media channel, uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, uh, and Facebook. And you can ask uh, all your questions uh, for the physicists, but also for our top management, the CERN Director General and Director for Accelerators will be there uh, with the representative of the experiments and with knowledge transfer, how uh, all this, what it means for our daily life. You can ask all these questions and our dream social media team will moderate the questions and after the live at 5 p.m. Central European Summer Time, we will answer your questions. The live will be in five languages. Uh, questions will be answered uh, just in English, but you can send them in your own language. And I see Atlas, uh, which was missing from the tour of the experiment. I see Katarina back in the control center. It's a busy day today, Katarina. It's a super busy day today, but we're happy to be here with you and we're really looking forward to the start of data taking tomorrow. Fantastic. Uh, how long did it take to get to this moment? I mean, when do you want to start counting? You could say that it took from the early 90s when the LHC was constructed, um, or at least envisioned, and the beginning of um, all of the wonderful experiments when we were starting to design. It's, this moment has been a long time in the, in, in the making because this is a world record energy that we've never achieved before. So. Exactly, but this in particular, um, what I meant is that you've, you've been two and a half years uh, oh, uh, sure. without uh, data coming uh, uh, to Atlas, and now, uh, now it's starting again at renewed energy, and you're going to new territory for particle physics. Indeed, we've had the, sh the long shutdown too, that uh, began in 2019, where we were upgrading the experiment and readying it for this new era of data taking, installing brand new detectors. So yeah, that, that in particular has been, been that's, really exciting. That's why we're all excited. And uh, uh, please don't leave us tomorrow. Stay us with the live tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure there will be lots of questions for you. We're now going to uh, another uh, control center. Uh, the data center of CERN, where all the data, uh, once they've been processed uh, initially oh. <laughs> from the four experiments, they get to you before getting to the world. Hello. Hello from the CERN data center. So as you can see, we are really excited. We are ready for the data, data taking to start tomorrow. Over the past three years, we have worked on our infrastructure. We improved storage, we improved computing. Uh, we made sure that the data will be processed really rapidly uh, at, at the data center and distributed worldwide through the other sites around the world for the uh, worldwide LHC computing grid. So it is, it is a really great, great pleasure. We are looking forward to distribute those exabytes of data around the world. So have and you heard, it's exabytes really of data. Exabytes of, of data. We are really excited for that. So the, this, this means so when we increase the energy of collisions, the, get, the experiments get more data. And this is what they want to do, new physics. And uh, the data center has to absorb all that before, before sending everything to the entire planet uh, with your, all the connected uh, data center connected to the grid, the LHC computing grid to process all this, right? Exactly. So uh, we are really re very excited. We are ready. So IT, go. OK, so uh, I say go, uh, everybody. Uh, don't miss this tomorrow. 4 PM Central European Summer Time. We start the live. We'll go through all those stages that take us to stable beams, the conditions for collisions to go safely into the four detectors. The detectors will switch on. The data will arrive. And then we have a Q&A session with the CERN Director General, uh, some of the directors and the representatives of all the experiments. So we're looking forward to your questions and see you tomorrow. The LHC Run 3 is starting up now. Accelerator mode proton physics. It is a very exciting moment because it really we have now three years of, uh, of technical stop.
beam mode ramp. There will be new detectors, new ways to read out all the data. As you may know, the LHCB detector had, had many changes. A lot of pieces have been changed and we're really looking forward to see the performances of this new shiny detector and also all of the physics performances. The priority for Alice in Run 3 um, is the study of uh, the collision of heavy nuclei, uh, the lead nuclei. LHC experiments plan to collect more data during LHC Run 3 than they did in the first two runs combined. Most physicists expect that there should be some new particles beyond the standard model. Be most laptop. Be most stable beams. If there is new physics out there, we'll find it. <laughs> this is a good question. <laughs>